and welcome to a new Poetry Thursday. First of all, I wish to thank Kim Lachelle who came up with this idea in the first place. I think that it's a wonderful idea to have a community where people can share poetry because, well, I like poetry. Um, at first, this week I was confused about what I was going to share with you. Um, I had a few ideas, my Angelao, Mary Oliver, Emily Dickinson, they were all up there and I found one by each which I would like to share in the future. But then I remembered something. You may not know this, but last February, I believe, something came up in the literary world and the ancient history world, basically. And it's unfortunate and not. Unfortunate because you realize how some artifacts may be lost. Not really lost to humans, but lost to many people because they are only enjoyed by the rich. But it had a happy ending because this came out. Basically, two new fragments, one almost a full poem by Sappho, were discovered again in the black market. But fortunately, they came up and uh, basically someone shared them. Now, there have been a few people that have been trying to translate them. Uh, I'm going to read them both to you because the second one is really just a fragment and I believe they go together because the event happened together. Um, when uh, I first discovered this, I a few days later there were a translation and I saved that as a PDF. But I remember that a few days ago I saw on The Guardian new translations and I compared them, they were different. And just now I searched and apparently there's a multitude, especially of the first almost full poem, um, there's translations everywhere. I guess this could be expected mm -hmm. and also explained because English is a different rooted language, it's rooted in Anglo-Saxon languages and Greek is Greek. So for a word in Greek, there may be five in English. I am actually really curious as to see what other roots um, and languages have translated this poem, how they have translated it. So especially um, Latin derived languages, um, Italian, French, Portuguese, Spanish, Romanian, especially those because Latin is closer to Greek. I'm curious about translations of those poems. So, if you happen to have a link to one, please send, send it to me because I'm really curious. Um, even other languages, even if I don't know them, I'm really curious to how they were translated. So just that. Um, so on with it. The first poem is commonly called the Brothers um, Poem or Brothers Poem or poem one of the new ones and it goes something like this but always you babble that Caraxus is coming with a full ship these things I suppose Zeus knows and all the other gods but you don't need to understand them just send me and instruct me to pour out player prayers to Queen Hera and back that steering his boat here unharmed Caraxus finds us safe and sound the rest let's consign it all to the stars for fair winds suddenly appear out of great gales those whose fortune the olympian king turns back from sorrow they are happy and shine with blessings and we if laricus ever finds his head to become a man from great hev heavy heartedness will be quick released and that's the first poem the second poem is actually not translated by everyone that translated the second poem and I don't believe it has a name, um, I, I may be wrong. How could anyone not gorge always, Cyprian goddess, whomever you should love and fervently wish to call back to you, you have... Having summoned me idly, you cut, longingly, so because this, these are fragments, 
there are some words missing because the parchment could be burned or cut in places or as mere may be illegible so unfortunately that's what fragments are i forgot to mention uh, these translations i got from slate but as i said there are a lot of different translations some of them have filled um, in blanks according to what Sappho would usually write um, so there's that and I will have all that I have found in the description I also have two articles which I wish to share with you because you like poetry um, there's one of 36 poems that everyone should know and there's also one of the top um, epic poems so i will share those because i think that you will enjoy them um if you have anything to add especially on the Sappho situation i could really talk about it for ages so until then bye i also wish to thank everyone that wrote articles about it that contributed to discussions and especially that translated them because Sappho's dialect is actually different um, she wrote in a different dialect uh, because in ancient Greece there were different dialects so not a lot of people know that dialect so I thank everyone that translated um, if you have anything to add on the Sappho situation I could really talk about it for ages so don't hesitate to contact me personally or in the comments or on my Twitter until I have something to share with you again.